Hello everyone, I am back with a new video of the Strapped and I hope all of you are doing great. So today's video, you know, I am uh, recording this video with a very very somber and sad mood I would say. Uh, the reason being many of you might have heard that uh, uh, you might have watched in the in the news or in social media that uh, one of our Indian Air Force's uh, LCA Tejas aircraft got crashed during the Dubai Air Show, and uh, one of our bravest uh, air warrior got martyred in this accident. So this is a great loss for the you know family for the force as well as for the country and the entire aerospace community in India, which uh, I am also a part of. And uh, I would say this, this loss is uh, also having a personal connection uh, with me because uh, I started my career uh, with, uh, with Aeronautical Development Agency uh, which is the design agency of uh, LCA and I have started my career on working on the LCA the very initial versions I would say the mm, PV2, PV3, the, the prototype vehicle 2, 3 so these were the initial uh, test flight uh, phases so I started my career back then uh, on this aircraft. So it is definitely uh, having a personal, uh, you know, uh, pain for me as well. Uh, now there is a uh, there is a formal code of inquiry that is going on, and probably in next couple of days or maybe in next few days we would be able to know ascertain the cause of uh, the actual cause and the sequence of events and the cause of the accidents uh, but uh, there are there are a lot of initial discussions and uh, uh, a lot of narratives uh, that came in and uh, I uh, initially wanted to you know come out with this video on the very same day to you know debunk some of the rumors and uh, uh, some of the i would say the social media narratives that were being uh, pushed across so i i thought of coming out uh, uh, with that video but i deliberately uh, held on uh, held off to to analyze more videos and more uh, photographs to come in so that uh, you know I have a little better idea about what could have happened so uh, obviously I am I would say I'm no expert in uh, you know the in the military flying itself because I am not a military pilot uh, but I am an engineer so Definitely, I, I would say that uh, let's wait for the formal inquiry to come in, uh, uh, inquiry report to come in, and then we will have a, a greater clarity about the exact cause of the accident. Um, however, you know, I just wanted to clarify to all my viewers that, uh, you know, uh, the military aviation is a is a very dangerous profession so you have very thin uh, margin of error uh, these are these are very very high speed supersonic aircrafts and uh, they they fly uh, at a g force of something like 7 to 9 g and then you do some of the maneuvers at negative g and uh, recover and there are you know a lot of uh, precision equipment which are 
enabling the aircraft's control system. Uh, so there are there are lot of lot of uh, ifs and buts involved in uh, in the military flying and especially in a fighter jet. So uh, there there could be many things which uh, might have uh, you know uh, might have gone wrong uh, because uh, most of the time the pilots are trained to recover from one challenges or the other but uh, when an accident happens it's uh, likely that uh, a sequence of event could have happened so uh, which which might have caused that uh, aircraft not to uh, recover from a certain uh, scenario uh, so the initial initial videos and all that which uh, uh, came in and which we saw that uh, you know there there could be a possibility some of the uh, uh, you know former air force uh, uh, experts and pilots have also talked about that uh, uh, you know this was a negative g maneuver and uh, when you are doing a negative g maneuver at a very uh, low altitude as well as uh, you have to remember that it's a uh, hot uh, environment hot and humid environment like in dubai where the air density is uh, is air temperature and density plays a major role in the aircraft's uh, lift generation uh, so a small error could have been uh, very very dangerous right so when when the aircraft was uh, doing its maneuver at a at a negative g and uh, it was trying to recover at at that uh, that time uh, with a very very uh, low altitude so there there could be that you know the pilot might have uh, uh, got uh, a spatial disorientation which we call in aviation terms so a spatial uh, disorientation is like uh, uh, is a blackout for a few seconds uh, which uh, which causes a confusion about uh, you know about uh, the control uh, that needs to be done and all that it's a very very human uh, you know uh, i would say uh, human nature the body uh, gets adjusted at this high speed and uh, your your sensory organs and everything has to uh, has to respond to the sudden changes in the in the g force right the gravitational force that comes in so obviously uh, there are you know uh, I would say uh, there are possibilities that the pilot might have uh, got disoriented for a few seconds, which might have uh, caused his, uh, uh, you know, decision making ability, or might have impaired his uh, uh, controllability of the aircraft for fraction of second or uh, for a few seconds uh, which which might be possible but uh, again what i'm saying that uh, you know this is this is no fault of uh, the machine or or the pilot if, if that is the case because it's a very very um, you know thin margin of error where if suddenly if your body uh, your sensory organ suddenly uh, you know not responding to the best of its, uh, its ability for a few seconds or something like that but uh, uh, nevertheless uh, let's let's wait for the you know uh, for the uh, inquiry reports to come in we would know that if there was any issues with the engine or if there was any issues with the uh, with the you know any of the control systems or anything else 
which might have caused uh, you know this this discussions or this thoughts uh, came in because uh, it's very very unlikely that the pilot did not try to eject uh, uh, though it was a very very low altitude and he could have been uh, grievously injured even if he could have ejected but uh, still it is uh, surprising that uh, he did not do uh, so so there there could be again multiple reasons maybe you know some technical fault uh, or something else so let's let's wait for that but uh, at the end i just want to you know say one thing that uh, lca tejas is one of the uh, very very safest and uh, very very agile aircraft it is having one of the best safety records and you know in the in the uh, single engine uh, multi-role aircraft uh, uh, category so it can really fly like a kite so i would say that it's a very very capable agile uh, aircraft and it uh, the crashes happened even the best of the best even the f-35s and uh, others and you know the western world or uh, even in other countries there have been multiple crashes in the in the military aviation so that no way uh, undermine the capability of uh, you know the indian aerospace industry or or the credibility of HL or Indian Air Force or India as such. So have faith and uh, let's wait for the report to come in. Thank you.